Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. And today we're reading for day number 235. And let's pray. Father, as we go on about our day, I ask you send the Holy Spirit to live within us and to guide our every step. And as we read your word, Lord, strengthen us and teach us what you want us to learn and open our eyes and our hearts as we study your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so let's open up Isaiah, and we're reading chapter 42. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment into truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus said the Lord, the, thus said God the Lord, that he created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it. He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirits to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and I will hold my thine hand, and I will keep thee, and give thee a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, to them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles, and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, and the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry. Yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. I have a long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now I will cry like a traveling woman, traveling woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things I will do unto them, and will and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, that say to the molten images, Ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf, as my messenger that I have sent? Who is blind is he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant, See many things, but thou observest not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth, for a spoil and none set restore. Who among you will give ear to this, and who will hearken and hear for a time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord he against whom have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither they, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon his, upon him the fury of his anger and strength of battle. And he that had set upon him fire round about, he, yet he knew not and burned him. Yet he laid it on, laid it not, to heart. But now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, and I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, and thou hast been honorable, I have loved thee, therefore I give men for thee, for people 
and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Whom among them can declare this, and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared, and have saved, and I have showed, when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, that I am God. Ye, before the day I, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Thus said the Lord, your Redeemer. The Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their nobles, and the Chaldeans who cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus said the Lord, which make it away in the sea, and that path in the mighty waters, which bring it forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lay down together, and they shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, and the dragons and the owls. Because I give waters in the wilderness, and the rivers in the desert, I give drink to all my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither thou hast filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I, even I am, he that blotted out of thy transgressions for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. But put me in remembrance, and let us plead together, declare thou, that thou mayest be justified. Thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant of Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus said the Lord, that I have made thee and formed thee from the womb, which, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jezreel, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon thy ground, on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass and as the willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and sure name himself by the name of Israel. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Beside me there is no God. And who, as I shall call, and shall declare it set in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people, and the things that are coming shall come, and let them show unto them, Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee that from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. That they that make graven image are all out of them vanity, and their de delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know, that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a God, or molten a graven image, that is profitable, profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, they are of men. 
Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. Yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The smith with the tongs both worked in the clothes, and fashioned it with hammers, and worked it with the strength of his arms. Yea, he is hungry, and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water, and is faint. The carpenter stretched out his rule, and marked it with out a line. He fitted it with planes, and he marked it out of the compass, and make it, it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may be remain in the house. He held him down the cedars, and took it the cypress and the oak, which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest, and he planted an ash, and in the rain doth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof and warm himself, yet he kindleth it, and baketh bread, and yea, he maketh a god, and worshipeth it. He maketh a graven image, and falleth down thereto. He burneth part thereof in the fire, with part thereof he eateth flesh, he roasted roast, and is satisfied, yea, he warmeth himself, and said, Aha, I am warm, I have seen the fire. And the residue thereof he maketh a god, and even his graven image, he falleth down into it, and worshipeth and prayed unto it, and said, Deliver me, for thou art my God. They have not known nor understood, for he hath shut their eyes, that they cannot see, and their hearts, that they cannot understand. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge or understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire, yea, I have baked bread upon the clothes thereof, I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And Shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? He feedeth on ashes, and deceiveth heart hath turned him aside. And he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? to Remember, these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thicket cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud, thy sins return to me, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth, break forth to sing in ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein, for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. Thus said the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth from the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, and turneth wise men backwards, and maketh their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant, and performed the counsel of his messengers, that said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, into the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof, that said to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up the rivers, that said to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers, that saith of Cyrus, He is my shepherd. He is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be built to the temple, thy foundation, sh thy foundation shall be laid. Well, thank you so much for reading along with me, and I will see you again tomorrow. And God bless.